Hello everyone, in this video I'm reviewing the Dr. Dreadful Ice Cream Machine. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Take a look at the artwork on the box. Always loved it. You got the ice cream coming out here, little ants crawling over everything. Real cool. Here on the side, we have the nutrition facts. And here on the back, now you see here at the bottom there's the drink lab and food lab. I've done videos on both of those sets. Check out my channel and you'll find them. Really excited to be able to do this. This was released by Tyco in 1994. Same with a lot of the other labs. Well, let me get all the stuff out of the box and we'll move on to assembly. All right, got everything out of the box. We're going to move on to assembly. Here's our instructions here. And we have our packets off to the side, our ice cream mixes. I'm not going to use these. They're real hardened and solid, so I'm going to use something else. But let's go ahead and get this thing put together. Here's a little skull bowl. We won't eat out of. This is the main unit. First, this is the little scoop thing that our ice cream is going to go into. We got to get the bottom uh, piece on there, which is this right here. Move some stuff out of the way, make a little room. Okay, it's going to fit on there like that, and of course it's not just going to stay. See these two little clips? We're going to put these on the side here. See how that goes? And we're going to do the same with the other side. So you wind up something like that. Next, this is the drum that we're going to put our ice and stuff into. We got to get the crank handle on here. So you'll take this piece and this piece and a little hole here. Stick this in like that. Take the handle snap it in. There you go. And then we're going to just set our drum in there. It was just like that. And then one final piece to put together. This is the lid. You got to take this top piece right here and snap it in. It's just got some little tabs on it. And once you get them snapped in, it goes just like that. And that's the basic setup. Now, the, well, wait a minute. Sorry, forgot a part. This goes here. And then this goes here. Sorry about that. But there you go. That's the unit. Like I was saying, one of the things I wanted to point out, a defect with this machine. If you look here, the gears, hope you can see that. They don't fit flush up against each other and sometimes when you're turning this thing it'll catch so that's just one of the that's really the only negative thing I can say is the gears don't fit flush together to turn this thing so that's a downside and that can really mess up your ice cream mixing okay well we got it put together let me get the uh, ingredients and we'll get on to making our ice cream All right, it's time to make our ice cream mix. Like I said, I'm not going to be using the packets that came with the kit because they're like hardened and old. So I'm just going to use this stuff, it's just ice cream mix. It comes in a powder format. I'm just using chocolate because that's all I could get. Okay, we're going to use a cup of milk. 
You can use half and half if you like. Okay. They give you this little spoon to stir with, but honestly, it doesn't work very well. So, I'm using one of these. And I'm going to use a quarter of a cup, almost a quarter of a cup of the ice cream mixture. Okay, let's get this stirred up good. It seems to be good. Set that off to the side. Smells good. Smells uh, like pudding is what it reminds me of. Okay, now we're going to get our ice and salt ready. Take this top part off. Remove our drum. Okay, what you want to do with this is just fill it with as much ice as you can and use half a cup of salt. You can use table salt or ice cream salt, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let me get my ice. It's going to be kind of loud. Okay, I'm going to fill it up part way, then I'm going to go ahead and put my salt in. Half a cup. Now what that salt does, it makes things cooler, just to simplify it. Like lowers the freezing point. I guess that's as much we're going to get in it. Okay. And this uh, top has a O-ring in it. Make sure it's sealed. Boy, that's cold. I might have to take that other piece of ice out after all. Play around with it a little bit. Okay, that'll work. Okay, let me turn this camera up a bit. I'm going to put this piece back on. And we're fixing to get started making our ice cream. Be back in just a sec. Alright, I'm back. Just want to do a final check on everything. Now we're going to add our ice cream mixture. Here on the back is where you pour it in. And you don't want to start off with a lot of this mixture. Just pour a little of it at first. Around anywhere from a third to a half of your mixture. Okay. Now we're going to turn the handle, which is going to rotate the barrel, for about three minutes. 
this is going to be a little on the loud side so just a little warning to headphone users let me get my timer it doesn't have to be three minutes exact it just depends on how cold the drum is the ice and salt how cold it's gotten but you don't want to go over because that stuff will freeze on there solid and you'll be in a world of trouble Okay, timer, start. Okay, what's happening here is while I'm turning, that mixture is getting frozen onto that drum and layer. And once I'm done with the turning process, we're going to engage this piece right here. That's going to scrape the ice cream off. Let me turn it this way and get a better look at it. You see it forming on there? Coming up on two minutes. Check it. Look, see. Yeah, it's gonna need to go a little longer. Okay, that's three minutes. Let me give it a look. It looks pretty good. Okay, here comes to the next part. This little thing here is our scraper. Okay, I'm going to engage that and turn the handle. Now you see what it did there? The gear, it popped off. That's what I was telling you about earlier. It doesn't stay engaged very well. Let me take the top off here. Okay. So he just keeps doing that. That's one of the bad things about this set. <laughs> Popped off again.
I have to admit that is frustrating. It was frustrating when I was a kid too. You basically almost have to turn it by hand. Now we're getting some ice cream, so that's really what matters. Okay, well, we've got a little bit there. See? And just put some in our little bowl here. Let me turn it a bit more. Nothing worse than having a little problems like that. I'm just turn it up so if you can see. Hey, see the gears there? What's happening is I'm turning this thing. It's getting off like that. And you can see it's already damaged the little plastic gears a little bit already. Just this one use. But like I said, that's one of the downsides to this particular set. Well, that'll just have to do right there. And get a little bit more of this, what little bit there is left. Not much, huh? One spoonful. Well, I'm going to give it a try. Tastes good. Tastes good. All right, I'm going to work with this thing a little bit off camera and see if I can get it to work a little better. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back. I found out one of the things that was causing the problem. The sides here are kind of bowed out. They don't fit. They don't go perfectly flush. So when I'm turning the handle, what happens is since this is bowed out, that's the reason the gears aren't having a proper connection. So basically what I had to do, I kind of had to hold it like this right here and press this and kind of turn the handle all at the same time which was very uh, hard to do but got a little extra ice cream here or actually more than extra you see how it comes off basically like in strips see no it's just gonna go all over the place well doesn't really matter It worked. That's what mattered. Yep, tastes great. All right, let me get cleaned up here. I want to try this again, but I'm going to do it from a different angle. I'm going to give you like a bird's eye view of it. Hold on just a sec. Okay, I changed my camera angle up a bit. I'm going to use the rest of my mixture here. Just wanted to give you a heads down view of it. And I took the top cover off too. So, and the rest of it goes. Let me start my timer. Here we go. See it sticking on there? I'm really sorry about the poor performance. Uh, not really a lot I can do, you know, if the machine doesn't want to work properly. 
because of the poor design I'm, I'm sorry not much I can do but at least we got a little bit of ice cream Stop for a sec. Okay. Okay, two minutes. Okay, I stopped a little early, thinking that it was getting kind of solid. All right, I'm going to engage the scraper. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it's not quite frozen yet, but you get the general idea of how it works. So at least we got a little bit of ice cream. You can tell just looking at that. That's basically a mess. But it works. Alright. Had a few problems along the way trying to get the ice cream machine to work correctly. But it works okay. Not great. Has a few design defects. Some positive things I'll say about it, though, is unlike some of the other Dr. Dreadful labs, like the food lab, for instance, once you run out of powders for it, you got to go buy the um, refills. Of course, they don't sell them anymore. So you're basically just out of luck. With this set, you can just buy a regular ice cream powder mix or the, heck, you can even take milk and mix in, you know, uh, Nestle Quick with it and make your ice cream like that. One thing I like to do when I was a kid, I would pour orange juice in it and I'd make like an orange juice slushy. Didn't work great, but it worked. Um, that's basically all I have to say about it. I just wish it could have worked a little better, but I did it. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll catch you next time. Later.